Hey cutie pies, welcome to the first Monday of $1,000. A record breaking 2.18 million players competed for it, but just six H cuties were left standing after 15 questions, each taking home a record breaking $8,333.33. Yeah, it's not about the trophies, it's about the cold hard cash people. I wonder what they're gonna do with their winnings. They could buy four kilos of bird's nest soup with that kind of money. Yes, bird's nest soup, it's expensive and savage. We also lost a record breaking 1.7 million players, including my sister Raina, on that single question alone about bird's nest soup. It's a real thing. What record will we be smashing today? Anything could happen on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host, the Quizard of Oz, Scott Rogowski, coming to you live from beautiful downtown Burbank, getting my groove back with all 770,000 plus of you, including Rack Bo, Tyler Getz, Chris Mural, Caitlin Shu, Josh Rath, and Storm T. Renegade. If you win today's game by answering all 12 questions, you're gonna win some money. Yes, we're giving out 2,500 Daniel Girardi's, 2,500 Duncan Keats, $2,500 bills. You could probably buy a hot dog cannon with that, right? They can't cost too much. It's like a souped up super soaker. I don't know what that was. The stars were out at the Oscars last night, but the titans of trivia are here today. I'm talking about you. Yes, you there staring at your phone in the middle of class or your office. Do you wanna quiz with me and get some money? Well then let's get down to the nitty gritty and get this show on the road. Cumero, numero, uno, which piece of clothing is meant to protect your head from the cold? Earmuffs, giant clock necklace, or toe socks? Been wearing these lately because it's been cold, 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 cold. Ah! Burks and Bermuda shorts weather will come soon enough, people. In the meantime, keep those ears muffed, yes, Earmuffs is the answer. Muffle those ears. Who's got their ears to the ground on this one? 758,500 ears for fears. We got Q2. What are candles commonly made out of? Old Legos, Greek yogurt, or paraffin wax? Candles. Too hot to handle the candle? We're going behind the candelabra on this one. Shout out to all of you having a candlelit lunch right now. Paraffin wax does not come from puffin birds. No, it's a petroleum product used to make candles. That is your answer. You dip your wicks in the wax and voila, 746,673 are burning bright. The rest of you, like a candle in the wind, getting extinguished at Q2. Q3, what form of singing was historically used to communicate between mountaintops? Yodeling, opera, arias, or Gregorian chanting? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this music is most famously used in Swiss cough drop commercials. Yodeling is the mountaintop communication method also found in Central Africa and in American country music. Shout out Slim Whitman. Also punk music, shout out Avalanche Bob. 718,211 are saying Ricola. Three cola at Q3 today. Yoda, yoda, little lady. We got Q4. Rumspringa is a rite of passage among which of these groups? Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, or Amish? Here come the Rumspringa. When the teens of this community go off into the real world and in indulge in some rebellious behavior, that's called a Rumspringa. Then they decide if they want to stay in the Amish church or become a professional gamer. It's one or the other. Amish is the answer. 501,906 of you have got a Bible in your, in your hand and a beard on your chin. You're living in an Amish paradise. An Amish dude with a tood? You know it's unheard of. 501,906 getting Q5. Which of these is a synonym for the opposite of a financial bull market? Ursine market, taurine market, or porcine market? Looking for the opposite of a bull? Huh? An aggressive and optimistic market is like a charging bull, hence bull market, that terminology. A cautious weak market like the hibernating bear? Well, that's an ursine market because ursine refers to bears and taurine is bulls, porcine is pigs. You know what it is, 157,964 getting it right. But we just lost over 320,000 on our first savage question of the week. 
Here we go on your Monday afternoon. Bam! Wham, bam! Thank you, ma'am. 157,964 grinning and bearing it. Getting the bare necessities today for Q6. Which of these animals is technically a fish? Porpoise, orca, or whale shark? Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. If you've made it this far, you're smart enough to know there are many a marine animal that have fins and flippers, but aren't classified as fish. Porpoise and orcas being two of them, they're mammals, but not sharks. Whale shark is a shark and sharks are fish. Whale shark happens to be the largest known species of fish out there swimming around and 102,688 going for a dip in the ocean at Q7. The rest of you get in the hook. You're out of here. Q7, basketball was invented in the US state that is also home to which of these islands? Hilton Head, Hatteras Island, or Martha's Vineyard? The invention of basketball goes back to the good Dr. Demento. No, Dr. James Naismith, who was born in Ontario, but invented the game while he was living in Springfield, Massachusetts, the state also home to Martha's Vineyard off the coast of the Cape. That's right, Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. 44,532 dribbling up court, alley-ooping. They got hoop dreams today. They're getting Q8. A famously counterintuitive logic puzzle is named for what game show host? Bob Barker, Richard Dawson, or Monty Hall? I'm the bad and bougie Barker. The Richard homie Dawson. The Monty Tall? I don't know. Here's the puzzle. You have three doors with a prize behind one, right? You pick a door, the host opens one of the other two showing the prize is not there. Do you open the door that you first picked or do you switch to the other? Well, according to the Monty Hall problem, your odds go up if you switch doors. Monty Hall's your answer, 25,169 of you. Come on down. You just won a jet ski. Oh no, that was, that was last night. Q9, which company provided audio equipment that helped Disney produce Fantasia? Bang & Olufsen, Hewlett Packard, or Dolby Laboratories? Yes, the, uh, this movie Fantasia, you remember this one? With uh, Mickey Mouse and the, and the hammers and the broomsticks? The engineers behind Fantasia were looking for cheap audio equipment and they got a hot lead on a young duo churning out oscillators in what is now Silicon Valley that contract was the first big deal struck by William Hewlett and his buddy Don Packard. Hewlett Packard is your answer, and savage question is what we have here at Q9. Oh, mama, call Kevin Arnold and Corey Matthews, because this is Ben and Fred Savage right here at Q9. 3,983 surviving this one for the 20,000 plus of you does not compute. At Q9, Q10, three questions left. Which nation does not have land on the island of Borneo? Malaysia, Indonesia, or Myanmar? Or Myanmar, or Myanmar. There are, there are many ways to pronounce this. Don't get on my case. Borneo is, thir is the third largest island on earth, and it has room for three different countries. Yeah, about three quarters of it is Indonesian territory. About 1% is Brunei, you know, the Sultan and the rest goes to Malaysia. But Myanmar, the country formerly known as Burma, is connected to mainland Asia, not part of Borneo. Oh my Myanmar, 2,985. Know their geography, not getting that one by you there. You got this one right at Q10. You gotta answer two more to win the money. The penultimate question, Q11, which Billy Joel album opens with a sound effect that's appropriate to its title? Stormfront, turnstiles, or glass houses? Going back to hack, 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 hack and sack, hack, hack. Who's going back? Stormfront gets right down to the nitty gritty with the underperforming single, That's Not Her Style. Turnstiles opens by saying goodbye to Hollywood. No sound effects there. But you may be right if you tapped Glass Houses because Billy Joel's seventh studio album starts with a smash. 1476 of you are walking through Bedford Stuy alone. On to Q12, a chance at all the marbles. You could buy your own Glass House. 
for Q12. This is it. It all boils down to this. 1,476 players, 25 hundred dollars you may be right i may be crazy q12 let's find out which of these words cannot be typed exclusively using one row of a qwerty keyboard power tripper typewriter or pirouetted one row row jimmy row good old qwerty keyboard so named for that q w e r t y at the top row there I'm going this way. Also in that row, U, I, O, and P. And you can spell some fine words with those letters. Proprietor, repertoire, teeter-totterer, power tripper, type writer. But you need that D to spell pirouetted, which you'll find in the row below. Pirouetted is your answer. And 717 of you are winners, baby! <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir, -y Bobby. Yes, sir, Ricky Bobby. We have 717 winners, Boeing 717. 